into it that it could happen or it couldn't happen or okay i got i got one more one more question it's an interesting one so do you, do you guys do you guys talk with like your customers and stuff like do you guys like message them yeah yeah how many married men do you guys have that follow you they don't typically tell me if they're married or not but i would assume yeah we do yeah i would assume there's plenty yeah yeah i don't know i mean for some people like subscribing to an OnlyFans is like another form of pornography for them like they're messaging yeah but they're not physically cheating so i guess it depends on the boundary of the relationship but i don't think subscribing to OnlyFans is cheating do you know divorce rates have gone up at the same rate as pornography watching has gone up so i think there's an argument that well i would argue that watching pornography is very much infidelity because you're getting off to someone other than your spouse I mean, I guess. I mean, the way I look at what I do, I don't think about, oh, I'm making this for a married man to cheat on his wife. Right. You know, I'm providing a service. Like, 80% of men don't have sex um, or don't have a girlfriend, don't have access to it, whatever. And they rely on the girlfriend experience, access to OnlyFans, pornography, whatever. Um, and so in that context, I'm providing something that they're missing out on in their life. Do you think if just porn weren't a thing, them. then maybe more men would be dating and asking girls out? That's a great question. I don't know, because with the dating standards now, like a man's got to have a lot going for him for him to even be in the dating pool because women date up. So, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't help. So I would argue that porn enables men to not get their shit together. And they don't have to. Bingo. You reckon? Also, too, I think with the level and like to your point, there are so many specifics in the industry, kinks and interests. One hundred dollars and thirty-one cents, ladies. How do you describe your relationship with God? If none, have you ever tried to open your heart to Him? Hashtag Christ is Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Amen, bro. Amen. Yeah, we should. I, I'm really, really curious. Quick. We should go around the table. Really quick, do, yeah. do you have a relationship with God? I'm not religious. No. Okay. I do. Yes. Yes, yeah, so you mentioned yours. Not currently, but I've actually been really interested in it lately. Um, so I've been like kind of weighing my options of how I can learn more. We should talk more about that after the show. I, had I would love you to. Would say that. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, what about you? Nope. No. Yes. Yes. What religion? Um, Christian. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Pentecostal. You believe, you believe yeah. Jesus rose from the dead? Yes. Paid the price for your sins? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> we are. We are back. What about you? Absolutely yes. So I was raised Catholic and now it's just Christian, so okay. I don't do, how, I don't go to a Catholic church. I mean, but, but you're do, Christian. Yes. But so but I, how yeah. do you, so, but you make graphic adult content. How do you reconcile being a Christian yet making Well, you know, it's a relationship that I have with him. Right. And so he's working on me and it's just not something that I, if you're talking about from a religious perspective or faith, so it's just, a, it's a constant conversation I have with him. Mm. And so whether it's for him to bring me clarity or just give me, you know, um, an avenue or just show me, but it doesn't mean that I'm not, I'm less Christian or believe less in him just because I do that. It's it kind of does you, though, doesn't no, it? Let me, let me take this. No, because no. It's, a, it's an individual relationship with him. Would you say that you love Jesus? Absolutely. What did Jesus tell us we would do if we love him? Wait, wait, what did he tell us then? He, he, to, he told us that we would, we would keep his commands. Right. Right. That's, that's the mark well, of if following, someone truly right. loves Jesus. So, but I also feel like he has his own, you know what, he has this relationship with you and, and you have a relationship with him and your growth is going to be different than anybody else's, right? So you may, I may have to go through something and I may actually delay something, a blessing, because I'm not listening to him. So I'm willing to be more open, right? And I am opening up more um, just because it's just something that I'm looking for, whether I may feel lost or something, but it's just something within that I know that he's just trying to lead me the right way. Not into OnlyFans, but maybe this is just an avenue that I took for me to realize more, right? Just like being on this podcast, like I definitely will be reflecting after just because it's part of growth, like I had said. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one of the key reasons why, so. Wait, do you and do you BG? Do you do BG content? No, or it's just solo, correct? Solo okay, apps, got it. Yeah. Give me a lot to chew on there. I know, I can't wait to hear more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ready. Um, but okay, let me say one yeah, thing really quick. Yeah. I mean, so, and look, I 
I guess people can identify however they want, but I don't know, if, if the book says X and the core tenets of the religion say do this and you don't do them, can you really identify with the religion? Like, well, I don't cause then you don't I mean, really I mean, I'm have not identifying with a religion. I'm identifying with the relationship that I've had with God and how I've grown and you know, what I've gone through. Right. So to me, you know, religion for me is more, it has a lot more opinion and judgment. Right. And you have a lot of people um, telling, telling us how they perceive the religion to be right. That's not what I, I believe in God and the relationship and how he speaks to me on a daily basis. Right, and so in the effort that I make to reach out, or how he does it to me, right? So it could be signs, or it could be just me thinking about him, or you know, praise and worship, whatever. Do you read the Bible? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, I was just. Is that was that it? Was no, that I a just yeah, I just no. wanted to know. So one of the things that I do is, like, if I'm looking for an answer, I just open up the Bible to whatever page it lands, and okay. I just kind of like educate myself because there's so much, and every time I go back to that page, it's something different. The message is completely different, so. Oh, here we go. I uh, see you. No, 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 it was more just the, the super chat, Shania's dad is Robin Crosby. Yeah. I wasn't. No, that's fine. Doing. I mean, everybody sins, so I understand what you're saying, but there are things that, you know, but I feel like, I don't know, it's a, like you said, it's learning. You're right, you know, it's your if, process. If you acknowledge, if you do believe in with the Bibles, you don't have to believe in it, but if you believe in what it says, then you know some of the things that you would be doing would go against the Word of God. Right. You know, right? If you if you had a better opportunity in your life, would you stop doing OnlyFans? Absolutely. Yeah. But hold on, you said you're a nurse. Nurses are well compensated. So, but you don't understand. No, it's not even about comp. I'm still a nurse, and I still practice mm -hmm. nursing, and I do that because I enjoy taking care of people. Like that's what I do. I don't. It's not about paying me. But Wait. you know, I get, I went into a corporate environment, especially after COVID. It was highly stressful, um, and it, they wanted you to be a yes person, and I wasn't gonna be that because it, it wouldn't be fair to my team or the patients. And are so, you talking about the jab? I'm talking about like why I left, you know, corporate medicine, and then why talking my whole career that. had. <laughs> so, go ahead. I got a question for the table. <laughs> I got a question for the table. Ladies, do you see a problem with men in the modern world? Do you, do you feel like... Oh, sorry, Chase. Oh, my goodness. Now the text donated $102. Chase, you're forever a legend in my books. Global warming? How about we plant trees? I'm on number 58. Actions speak louder than words. 